You find this red-eyed tree frog near ponds in Mexico and Central America, and you've probably seen a picture of one of these guys before. Probably one of the, the best known frogs uh, in the world, certainly one of the most photographed. But this amphibian celeb has a dark side. This shaking behavior was described 40 years ago in this study, but it had eluded tree frog experts like Michael Caldwell. I'd never seen it. That is, until he turned off the bright lights. I used an infrared uh, capable video camera and all of a sudden this was all over the place, left and right. Caldwell observed this behavior in the field at the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama. Males are doing most of the shaking. And that shakes the plant, and those plant vibrations carry to other frogs that, that are nearby. They're sending a message, the gist of which is, get off my branch, says Caldwell's colleague, Karen Workington. You know, if he doesn't get off their plant, then they jump on him and start wrestling. And sometimes they'll wrestle for hours. That's a sort of a typical posture where they're hanging from their hind limbs, squeezing each other. The winner gets the territory, and it turns out that shaking predicts victory. The frog that tremulates, that shakes more, is the dominant frog, is the one who will fight longer, harder, and will ultimately maintain that calling site. But not any shake will do. By sticking special microphones... Called accelerometers. ...on the branches, the researchers found that the frogs always shook at the same frequency. They are all 12 hertz vibrations, and that's one of the signs that it is a signal, that it, it's always the same. Another sign is that when the researchers used a mechanical shaker and this model frog, the real tree frogs only responded aggressively to 12 hertz shaking, not vibrational noise. And the signal's not only specific, it's targeted. Animals who are not on the plant can't pick up that signal. Yeah, it's like a telephone, which is kind of an interesting combination of public and private. The frog may have things to say to those individuals that doesn't necessarily want to broadcast to, you know, the frog-eating bat flying around the other side of the pond. <laughs> the researchers say this study, which was published online in Current Biology this week, should shift the way we think about frog communication. We think of frogs as primarily vocal communicators, but in terms of just a number, they shake. They're really, you know, they're more of a shaking frog than a calling frog. And vibration plays a role way before wrestling begins. They're using vibration in multiple life stages. So a snake attacks the egg clutch, produces vibrations, and the embryos then sense those vibrations, know it's a snake attack and not, say, a rainstorm, and hatch to escape. Workington and Caldwell don't think vibration communication is just a tree frog thing. Vibration sensitivity is really widespread. It's a pretty, you know, basic ability that has kind of been uh, ignored, but it might actually be a much bigger part of the lives of a lot of animals than what we currently realize. Next, the researchers plan to investigate whether lady tree frogs respond to the shakes as well. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman. Thank you.